Hey y'all, Birdie Dresser here and part two of taking a position. Now, for the center, centuries, generations and generations, we have certain belief systems that we have passed down, that we embody, that we live, and right or wrong, like bulls in the china shop, we've been unconsciously or just beating the hell out of people around us with those positions that that just they're not good for you and they're definitely not good for the people around you but here you are stuck in that same mindset that guy you stuck and if you're not willing to be swayed or for that mindset to change then you're the one that's gonna suffer you're the one that's gonna 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 be stagnant but also, within that whole part of it, that bull in the china shop has now destroyed all of the surroundings around it. And they always say if there's a bad apple in the bunch, sometimes we don't know that we're the bad apple. Not conscious of it at all. There's a saying that Jennifer Lewis says, if you sit and crap long enough, it stops smelling. And that's because you sitting in it and sitting in it and you are completely and totally oblivious to the fact that you're one in deep doo doo, but two sitting in it because it's comfortable because you don't smell how bad it is. But here you are sitting in that same mindset, same situation, same everything that got you in the same place. And when you repeat patterns, when you repeat circumstances, when you repeat certain things in your life, it's because you've been sitting in deep doo-doo all of this time and not knowing that it's you. It's you that make it, that's making it bad. It's you. And even though we can't control some of the circumstances around us, that awareness, that honesty, that accountability gets you out of the doo-doo. Get you out of it. So what position have you been taking that has been holding you back? Because that's real. That's a real question to ask yourself in the midst of anything that you've ever been in. So when my son said, are you trying to convince or are you willing to be convinced? This is the stop and think moment. This is the time where you stop and really assess and do inventory about where you are because if you're not happy, the position that you take is so important. It's so important. So continue to join me. We're gonna do that shadow work together. All right, faceyourshadow.com. Talk to you later.